k correspondence theorem let k be a normal subgroup of g and let s star be a subgroup of g star is equal to g by k so given hypothesis only given as k is a normal subgroup of g and we consider g star g star is defined as g by k uh, the factor group of g so g star is a factor group of g and given that s star is a subgroup of g star then we have to prove uh, four conditions there is a unique intermediate subgroup s that is k subset of s subset of g with where s star is defined as s by k okay with s by k is equal to s star okay we are taking given that the hypothesis it is given that s star is a subgroup of g star uh, and in the first condition it is given that s star is s by k we have unique intermediate subgroup that is we have k is a subset of uh, s k subset of s subset of g okay second condition if s star is a normal subgroup of g star then we have to prove s is normal third condition index of g star s star is, uh, is given as index of g over s uh, here we will read it as index of g star over s star okay then fourth condition uh, if t star is normal in s star then t is normal in s and s star by t star is isomorphic to s by t okay first we have to prove uh, there is an intermediate subgroup uh, s between k and g okay we define s as uh, s such that xk is an element of s star okay s star is given as s by k so uh, the definition of s is like this if x uh, set of all x element of g with x satisfies the condition x k must be an element of s star okay clearly we have to prove k subset of s subset of g from the definition itself clearly uh, s is a subset of g since uh, it contains set of all x element of g that is why s is a subset of g always we have to prove k subset of s also so we take an element uh, in k uh, let x element of k okay that implies x k is equal to k uh, if x is an element of k by the property of course it's x k is k itself and since x is an element of k x k must be an element of s by k okay uh, not like that if x element of k implies x k is equal to k and k is always an element of s by k k can case can case always k is the identity element in s by k so and of s by k uh, by the, from the definition of s if x uh, okay s by so now we got x k element of s star uh, and that implies x is an element of s from the definition of s it is clear that if x k is an element of s star then x is an element in s so x element of s thus uh, when we take x element of k we have got x element of s therefore k is a subset of s thus we have k subset of s subset of g thus s is a unique intermediate subgroup okay next we go to the set of g star then s is normal in g okay uh, in order to prove s is normal in g we will take g element of g and x element of s uh, in order to prove s is normal in g we have to prove g x g inverse must be an element of s so if that should be an element of s from the definition of s it is clear that g x g inverse k must be if must be an element of s star so let's check g x g inverse k must be an element of s star so g x g inverse k is equal to by the property of course it can be written as g k into x k into g inverse k and in the second condition it is uh, given that s star is a normal subgroup of g star okay then g k x k g inverse k must be an element of s star since g k and g inverse k is an element of g star always where g star is g by k g and g inverse are element of g hence g k and g inverse k always element of g star and here x is an element of s so x k must be an element of s star it is from the definition of s and we have given that s star is normal subgroup of g star thus we have g k inverse k is an element of s star and this g inverse of g k is g inverse k and thus we have g x g inverse k is written like this so we have g x g inverse k is an element of s star from the def definition of s. hence s is normal in g 
okay in the third condition we have to prove index of g star over s star is index of g over s okay uh, what do you mean by index first uh, here i here i define what is index index of g over h is number of distinct left cosets of h and is defined as index of g over h is order of g by order of h so index of g star is from the definition it can be written as index of g star by index of h star and g star is g by k and s star is s by k so it can be written as order of g by k by order of s by k and order of g by k can be written as order of g by order of k it is a result okay and order of s by k is written as order of s by order of k so that is order of g by k into order of k by order of s order of k get cancelled on both numerator and denominator and it is equal to order of g by order of s that can be written as index of g over f so hence the proof okay fourth condition we have to prove if t star is normal in s star then t is normal in s and s star by t star is isomorphic to s by t okay look at the second condition it is given that in the second condition s star is a normal subgroup of g star then s is normal in g so by using the second condition uh, we go, we get the result if t star is normal in s star then t is normal in s so we have to prove only this kind of to s by t okay now let us look at the proof since given t star is normal in s star then by second condition then by 2 t is normal in s that is clear okay in then we have to prove s star by t star is isomorphic to s by t s star by t star is equal to by definition s star is s by k and t star similarly t star is t by k okay Uh, we are using third isomorphism theorem to prove this in third isomorphism theorem it is given that the hypothesis you just go through third isomorphism theorem it is given that if s subset of k are normal subgroups of g s and k are normal subgroups of g with s subset of k uh, then we have g, g by k by s uh, is isomorphic to g by okay is is okay g by k by k by s is isomorphic to g by s okay third isomorphism theorem states okay you just look at third isomorphism theorem uh, so we have to prove just to k k should be a subset of d it is given that k and t are normal subgroups of g here t is normal in s we have got therefore t is a normal subgroup of g also and it is given that k is also a normal subgroup of g that is clear then uh, in the hypothesis of third isomorphism theorem from the hypothesis we have to prove just k is a subset of t okay uh, look at here uh, since t star is t by k it is clear that k is a subset of t okay t star is t by k uh, so uh, in order to define t by the factor group t by k k must be a subgroup of t so from that it is clear that k is a, you know, k is a subgroup of t hence k is a subset of t also so from that we get k is a subset of t thus we got k and t are normal subgroups of s k and t are normal subgroups of s okay then by third isomorphism theorem uh, we have s by k by t by k this is a statement of third isomorphism theorem just look at there okay uh, there s and k must be replaced by k and t in third isomorphism theorem, s and k the subnormal subgroups are given as s and k that is replaced by k and t here okay so by using that s by k by t by k is isomorphic to s by t hence the result s by k by t by k uh, is same as s star by t star hence s star by t star is isomorphic to s by t